You're listening to Tusk Talks Radio. Stay tuned as we talk about important community topics and what's happening at Kent State Tuscarawas. Learn about the campus and its academic programs, athletics, student activities, performing arts center events, and community involvement. The purpose of Kent State Tuscarawas is to help you find yours. With 27 degree programs, low tuition, and excellent faculty, you can create your own success story at Kent State Tuscarawas. Dean with us now, and Dean Beliski, uh, good morning from Tuscarawas campus. How are you doing? Oh, doing well. Good. So, uh, no, we had a little bit of a technical issue there to begin with, but I can't start a day uh, better off than listening to Bruce Springsteen. He's one of my uh, all-time favorites. Well, so, uh, so the dancing in the dark uh, waiting music was, was just fine. Thank you. It's, uh, it's uh, good to talk to you this morning. A lot of things are taking place at uh, Kent State University, Tuscarawas. What can you share with our listeners today? Well, I, I can share with you that uh, today, or actually later this afternoon and into the evening, uh, we're going to have our first ever virtual open house. So uh, we have a, our, our admission staff and financial aid folks uh, and some of our advisors uh, available to potential students, and uh, that's today from 2 to 6. And uh, you might think, what's a virtual open house like? Well, uh, the, the advantage is uh, you don't have to come to campus to participate in the virtual open house. You can uh, sit in your, in your home, uh, on your phone, on your computer, or on your mobile device, uh, and just uh, log in to www.kent.edu slash tough slash campus visit. And uh, you'll uh, be sent to a button that takes you right to the virtual out- open house. Uh, you can have any questions that you want uh, answered. Uh, you can uh, ask more questions about the campus. Again, you can talk about financial aid and some of our generous scholarship opportunities and uh, uh, federal financial aid opportunities. So uh, we're still operating, we're still recruiting, and uh, we're looking uh, very very strong for the fall semester. And we're, we're planning a, a kind of what I, what I would call a, uh, a phased or, or a, uh, you know, cautious uh, return to operations in the fall semester for our faculty, staff, and students. Well, how long is the uh, application, even after the uh, today's uh, seminar online, uh, open house, I guess, is the best way to put it, but uh, what's the deadline for uh, applications? Uh, we take uh, applications really all the way up uh, to the, uh, nearly the first week of classes. So uh, we want to be as accommodating as we can potential students, and, and this is nothing new for us. This is uh, something we've always done. So uh, mm-hmm. being a regional campus, uh, we recognize uh, our students' lives are sometimes fluid, uh, work environments change, uh, life, life situations change, and so we always try to adapt what we do to the life, lives of our students. So uh, every year we'll have a group of students that wasn't thinking about uh, going to college uh, even a month or two ago. Uh, and now it's suddenly considering it and uh, wants to get through the application process. So, so uh, we have what we call a rolling admissions process, and so uh, we don't have a, a hard deadline on things like your application. Now, of course, uh, once we get into the semester, that we start into the next uh, phase of applications for the following uh, semester and year, uh, but we, we are pretty generous with uh, all of those types of dates and deadlines. And when will your uh, classes begin? Uh, we, we will begin uh, late August this year, as normal. So uh, uh, third week of August is, is when classes begin. And we're still um, working out what uh, that will completely look like. We know that some of our courses will be taught on campus. So uh, uh, likely that uh, many of our uh, clinical-type courses and uh, maybe some of our laboratory courses will be taught on campus. Uh, We know that some of our classes will be taught uh, remotely or in a hybrid format. Uh, So we're we're going ahead and uh, trying to uh, prepare for all of those uh, methods and modes of education in the fall semester and making an excellent excellent process or progress in doing that right now. Well, that's great. And, uh, of course, the campus is uh, thriving well, and your attendance seems to keep growing each year. Uh, We've been very fortunate. So uh, I think part of that is due to the fact that people are recognizing uh, in increasing numbers the value 
uh, that the campus has in, in the community. It's always been uh, thought of as, as a tremendous resource. Uh, but I do think people right now are being more cost conscious. And when uh, they see that our tuition for the year is just a little over $6,000, um, when you even compare that to some other state institutions, which are eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a year, and when you compare that to private institutions, that can be anywhere from twenty to $60,000 a year. I think people uh, recognize that uh, what they have in their own backyard uh, is, is a pretty good value uh, because uh, you can obtain certificates, associate degrees, and bachelor's degrees, and a large number of them right here in Tuscarawas County. And, and we also serve as kind of a gateway uh, to other opportunities as well. So if there's a major uh, that we don't have on campus, we can often uh, teach the first couple of years of the courses required for that major at Tuscarawas and then have that student transfer, hopefully, to Kent State University afterwards. Well, a lot of folks have uh, went that direction for many years, start out uh, locally here at the Tusk campus, and because of whatever their degrees they're reaching for and to what occupation, uh, they've been able to make that uh, journey to Kent. Uh, yes, they have. And uh, often I, w- I will run into folks that say, well, I either uh, took my first two years at Tuscarawas or I earned my associate degree from Tuscarawas, uh, and then I went to the main campus and earned my bachelor's degree. Or we've had uh, a lot of students recently that earned their bachelor's degree at Tuscarawas and went on and, and earned a graduate degree, a master's or a doctorate from uh, Kent State. So uh, we, we try to keep everything in the family uh, as much as possible here. Uh, but we do know that uh, some of our students will start here and, and go to other other campuses as well. Sure. And it's a n- nice way, if their uh, future and stores what you offer, that uh, they get to leave the nest a little bit, one bit at a time. And, yeah, parents, and parents are very happy with that. Yes, and we are seeing, you know, uh, increased interest in that right now. I know uh, a lot of, I have college-age children myself, and uh, we're friends with a lot of folks that have college-age children, and uh, they are a little nervous right now about uh, sending uh, their children away to, you know, other parts of the state or other parts of the country, uh, given all that's happened with the pandemic, and are talking about, well, can uh, my son or daughter uh, either earn their degree at Kent State Tuscarawas completely, or as I said earlier, uh, stay home for a year or two and then transfer somewhere else. And both those options are uh, fortunately uh, viable options here at campus. And um, we're, we're hoping that uh, people will, will take that opportunity. Uh, we're also focusing not only on the first year uh, freshman class, uh, but right now we're seeing a uh, real interest and increase in our transfer application numbers. And I just want to let our audience know that that is uh, part of what we do as well. So uh, we have some generous transfer scholarship awards uh, to help and assist with that uh, first year transition. And, you know, a lot, many of our students between their uh, federal, our scholarship dollars, the federal aid and uh, other forms of aid may not even uh, pay tuition out of pocket at all. So, um, real opportunities and advantages to being at Kent State Tuscarawas. All right. Thank you. And uh, one last thing, just to revisit back with your uh, online uh, open house coming up. And uh, once again, you want to give the details on that to remind folks, uh, take this opportunity. Sure. Um, We're starting it uh, this afternoon, evening at 2 o'clock. It runs through 6. It's an open format. So uh, you can start at 2, and if you have your questions answered by 2.15, 2.30, feel free to drop out. If you are working and you can't attend till 5.30, well, uh, 5.30 works as well. Feel free to drop in and have any questions or information that, uh, that you need answered, uh, taken care of. And again, all you have to do is go to our website uh, and go to, uh, again, kent.edu slash tusk, and then uh, go to a campus visit and it'll take you right to the virtual open house button. Click on it, and you'll be entered in at that point. All right, Dean, thank you very much for uh, coming on this morning on Big Hits and giving the folks uh, all the information of what's coming up today with your open house. Best of luck to you uh, with that as well. 
All right. Well, thank you very much, and you have a great day. You too. Thank you for calling in. What defines success? How fast? How far? How high? Success looks different for everyone. At Kent State University at Tuscarawas, your success is our success. Here, you'll design your first video game, your first robot. You'll care for patients, human and animal. Touch lives. Save lives. Change lives. At Kent State Tuscarawas, you define your success. Plan your visit at kent.edu slash tusk. 